So my job basically uh, entails um, going out into the field to collect airborne geophysical data, which is um, things like magnetics um, and gravity uh, measurements, which can actually measure the strength of the Earth's gravitational field and how strongly magnetic the Earth is. And you can measure this while you're flying over the top, over the top of the ice. Um, and we also measure how thick the ice is as well. And by doing this, we can actually build up um, a map of the geology underneath the ice. I go to Antarctica every two or three years, depending on whether or not we have um, a survey. So on a typical working day, we, we um, get up in the morning, um, have um, go out to the aircraft, check that everything's OK and survive the night OK, and then start switching on generators to warm the aircraft up. And once it started warming up, we'll go into the tent, have breakfast, and once we've had breakfast, a cup of tea, we'll go back to the aircraft, check everything's warmed up and start setting up to, for a flight. And once we're all set up, ready to go, and the pilot's there and we're all good to go, we'll take off and fly a flight, which is about four and a half hours. Um, we'll land, um, and then we will uh, archive the data. So all the data that's recorded during the flight is saved off onto CDs or separate hard drives. Um, and then we sit in the tents usually and try and QC this. So we check that we've got the data and all the systems worked. Um, and then have dinner, go to bed, and be ready to do, do it all again the next day. Antarctica is um, a really beautiful place and it's just uh, one of those really unusual places to get to work. So just having the opportunity to get down there and see sites that you know that probably only like 50 or 100 people or sometimes even less, maybe you're the first person to see like a particular mountain. That's really, really amazing. The hardest part of being out in Antarctica is probably having to deal with the cold and it just makes everything difficult. So going outside, just stepping outside your tent is a five minute job because you've got to get all your clothes on for a start before you can get out the door. And then just getting cold is really uncomfortable so you try not to do that too much. In a spare time is uh, if, particularly if the weather's gone bad, is sort of downtime. You have to sort of just re read a book is quite a good way. Or if we've already got some data, spend time processing data and sort of trying to keep on top of that side of things. Or because we've got uh, laptops out there with us, we'll be watch a DVD or a TV series sometimes. Well, it's always a um, being away for two or three months, I sort of miss my wife and like sort of being back with family and stuff. But it's always as you're starting to get t time to go home, it's always thinking like, what's going to be the, the, the food, the food you're going to have? That always seems to be the thing that everyone says, right, I'm really looking forward to when I get back, I'm going to have this particular meal, like steak and chips with a salad on the side or something like that. <laughs>